Hey guys. Hey guys, what's going on? Uh, it's Zach. So, for my informative speech, I'm going to be talking about teaching. Uh, the general goal will be to inform my audience about the teaching vocation. Uh, my specific goal, uh, I wish to inform my audience about the field of teaching, its work, salary, outlook, and to explain how teachers can use this career to honor God by promoting respect and by leading by example. Uh, my thesis is, if you have a desire to teach others, don't mind putting aside a luxurious life to help America's youth, value job security, and want to honor God through your career in teaching may be a good career choice for you. Um, I chose this I chose this field mainly because I feel called to teach, uh, and it really just kind of comes natural. Um, I've done it for a long time, teaching sailing and now doing my education stuff here at Liberty and just feels good. Um, the God value quality uh, is a person in this field can promote is leading by example. Um, that's huge in the realm of teaching. Um, the students really look up to you and really imitate whatever you do and whatever you deem is fit. Uh, this, this speech can benefit my classmates who are unsure what career they're looking to pursue, and this may lead them into the field of teaching. So for my persuasive, I have chose the topic of childhood obesity. General goal is to persuade my audience to embrace nutritional and physical education. Uh, specific goal, I want to persuade my audience that childhood obesity is growing is a growing problem in America today and that the problem can be remedied by increasing nutritional and physical education in a God-honoring way. Uh, my thesis is childhood obesity is a growing, growing problem within America, America's youth, that could be remedied by increasing physical and nutritional education implemented in public schools by God-honoring ways. Uh, I chose this social problem of childhood obesity because as a child I suffered from childhood obesity and rose out of it. The God-valued outcome promoted by the solution of childhood obesity is self-acceptance. Uh, this is really big within the obesity community. You have to um, accept who you are and who God made you to be. Uh, and this helps with depression and a whole list of other things. Uh, and this speech can really help my classmates who also struggled with this as a child or may be struggling with obesity now. Um, my visual aid is a photo that I found on the internet and it says, Globally, 1 in 10 children are obese. But in one month, in 2012, there were only 15,000 conversations worldwide on Twitter. That's one per 23, almost 23,500 obese children. That's insane that there's one in 10 and only one in every 23,000 is finding that it's a problem. So I just find that that needs to be changed and I'd love to do my part in it. Thank you.